Welcome to Are You Hardcore? Well, welcome indeed. Here we are. It's Are You Hardcore for September. Look at that sky. Isn't that amazing sky? I am paying tribute to Agent Dale Cooper of the FBI, as seen in Twin Peaks. He's been sent here to investigate very strange goings-on in this beautiful northern landscape. Right, let's have a look around. There's the family. <laughs> That's me in another identity. <laughs> um, yes, my wife, three of my, my, my three sons, <laughs> not three of my sons, three of my four children. But read the book for full details of the rules. Mm, I'm glad to see this sky is working. It's really beautiful. And to unlock more Patreon. Yes, of course, we get to choose our hats and weapons too. Are you hardcore is a monthly challenge and you can stay up to date by following the Mob Cave on YouTube. Wouldn't miss it for the world. So let's have a look at what's going on in here. Are you hardcore? September 2019. Cataclysm. Yes, I saw the announcement video. I'm suitably scared, <laughs> although Ed goes to lengths to warn us or to advise us that it's not as scary as it might seem. It's all for atmosphere. Uh, I'll think about that again if I'm dead within the first five minutes. Um, recording reminders? Yes, why not? Oh. This is your personal reminder to start recording. Yeah, that will be good. Um, yes, I will be needing coordinates. We need details. In fact, I think I will be writing down minus 587 and 1490. Why not minus 590? And 1490. That seems good enough to me. Over the page. Patron rewards, that's what I'm looking for. So, we paste a little, we done a little, and now what? What kind of a hat would an FBI agent. <laughs> yes, but this is now a usual FBI agent. He could wear a fez. He might actually wear a cowboy hat. It's going to ruin my hair, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. Cowboy hat. Now, I don't suppose, no, it will have taken quite yet. Now, I will also select the sword. Or weapon, let's say, because this is going to be interesting now. I chose the bat sword last time. Banana sword, ban bandana sword, oh, sword, yes, right, high patch sword, ah, ruby sword, ooh, emerald <laughs> sword, obsidian, ice, beef, <laughs> needle, <sighs> pirate, dagger, club, board with a nail in it. Yeah. Now, what would Cooper use out of these? I'm not going to be acting the part. You know me, I don't do acting. But I, I want to have dressed, at least in keeping, some of these. They're amazing. All of these are amazing, actually, but... <laughs> Oh, I'm back to the beginning. Right. Now, which one do I feel is most fitting? Hmm. <laughs> I think a dagger. Let's, let's... He, he's, he's, he wears things that are much more discreet. So rather than carrying around some huge ostentatious sword, we'll, we'll go for the discreet little dagger. Now, at this moment, I'm going to relog. 
Okay, there we are, relogged. <laughs> Agent Cooper with his dagger and his cowboy hat. <laughs> Glistening hat, cowboy hat. Right, we noticed the meteors haven't started coming down yet. Right, I better get on with this because I'm taking so long to get set up. Um, the ready button is after this month's rules. This month's rules. The world is being devastated by natural disasters and you must find a way to survive. Hmm, okay, I will. I'm up to the challenge. You must either build a bunker below Y50 to survive on the planet or a spaceship to leave the planet for good. Yep. Giant tunneling worms. Where's my Kevin Bacon costume? Uh, have come up from below the bedrock. Ooh, try to keep your distance if you hear them. So you will hear them, okay. Upon starting the challenge, you will be given a book with a list of things to think about, including for your bunker or spaceship. Tip, concrete is the best protection against the giant worms. You are allowed to sleep, phantoms are off. Normal general rules. This is most certainly my first attempt at this one. I don't know what to expect. Okay, I am just about ready to take the plunge. Here we are. Lava. Ominous. We are pretty much in the same place, aren't we? Yeah. Ooh, I can hear a skelly. Right, I need... To make a very normal... Oh, uh, here's my build suggestions. Oh, meow, meow in the background. Hey, kitty cat. Um, yes, okay. I will read them a little later. Because right now, we have to get busy. We do. Let's jump straight down a hole. Okay, um... Remember, you're in hardcore. Oh, look. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best tree to go for first. Okay, I see coal down below. to get assaulted so soon. Yep, let's just get some of these. Try and be as efficient as possible. And move on up to better things fast as we can. I wonder when the meteors are going to start striking and when the terrible worms are going to start moving towards me. In the meantime, let's enjoy the scenery. I wonder where we can get some coffee and cherry pie around here. That's what Cooper was always after, wasn't it? One of those boys and we'll have a stone sword even though of course it won't be customized right now can we get down there to get this coal there's iron as well there's a zombie we can't reach me a skelly can no, that's a shame. Let's move on. Let's um, let's get our supplies from somewhere a little 
better, a little more, let's just grab a, a little bit more wood. Wow, those skies are amazing. I'm getting so much meowing going on. Yeah, oh meow. Okay. Now, at what point do you think we get the um, the meteors? <laughs> well, that'd be one, won't it? Now, where did it go? Where did it land? I don't know. I heard it. That was certainly much more likely to have been a meteor crashing down than it was. Um, a tunneling worm th thundering through under the ground because, well, I don't know, maybe it was, but these things all have to be investigated. They're all so strange. Now, I've got some coal. Um, I'm afraid that for these sheep, it's it's going to be bad news because I I need to survive out here in the wild and sheep are going to provide uh, meat and wool and a bed will be handy right okay oh look fire no but that was the lava Oh, look at these caves. Well, actually... Pop a few torches. Ooh. Oh, no shield yet. Zombies. Hmm, we're too high up. We don't want this. We need to get down Oh, that'll be a get down point, won't it? Mm hmm Now, if I should not return, please relay a message to my secretary Oh, I hear... Ah, it got me. Ow! Well, that was... Um... Okay. Oh, I wasn't able to run. Let's at least try and heal myself up. Oh, this is a dangerous world. Um, okay. Go on a bit of food. I need to eat. I uh, really haven't got that much yet. Okay, now. Uh, let's make more wood. Make some of it into sticks. Oh, stop it. It sounds awfully close. That's all that I'm getting. Um, okay. Now, I was trying to make my way down to some iron that I saw. Oh, this is so dangerous. Um, let's... Let's worm my way down to it. <laughs> Give me a break. Oh, I haven't got any more blocks. Now, first lesson in Minecraft, have some blocks on your bar. No, it went down. Oh, I'm getting wormed again. Ow. 
<laughs> Ow! Stop it. Bad worm. Okay. Right. Well. Ah. <laughs> That's a much more conventional sort of, um, fright. How do I get back up? Um, I'm so short on blocks. Eek. And it'll be getting to be diet, diet time? Yeah, that thing. Night time. And <sighs> Let me out of here. Okay. Right. Remember to eat. Get a bit more food up on the surface. Make a bed. What's been happening up here? Woo! Fires. Right, food. And... Is it... Is it how, how can we even tell if it's night time yet? <laughs> right, so I've certainly had a brush or seven with the, um, the terrible worms. And they didn't kill me. They poisoned me and then they... They ran. But I, I'm going to run out of food very quickly if, um... Ooh, look at that. Ah, the sky is becoming amazing. Ah! Oh, look. Now, that is lava, that pond over here. Hmm, caves. More caves. But I know what happens if I go into caves. Um, yes. How much food have I got? I've got six more now. Lots of lava. Oh, a bit of desert over here. One piggy. Some cows. Right, grab these. But yeah, I've got to start making my plans. And that looks like the moon that's coming out there. Okay. I need somewhere a little safe from the meteors. Um. Right. Okay. Let's sit down here for a moment. Ooh. Do a bit of this. Uh, get prepared to fend off anyone who comes in here. Ah. Okay, let's get a shield up. And begin to get some food in. Um, right. I could eat. I could even make my dagger up, couldn't I? It's not usual for me to um to make a a weapon first up. Oh, dagger! There we are. Look, it's changed to a dagger straight away. Aha! Um, right. Okay. So, oh, up there. Let's let's use that. The last remaining bits of coal to cook more food, more food. <laughs> Definitely not Cooper style <laughs> diner food. <laughs> but um, we, ah. No, oh dear. 
Oh, this is... Eek! Did I lose anything in that? I don't think so. Right. What do I do? Where do I go from here? It's a dangerous world. I'm stuck out in the outside. And... There are terrible things out here. Actually, there's the normal terrible things out here. But there are other terrible things underground, of course. Let's pop her. Ow! That was close. It all seems terribly dangerous. How do we eke out a living? Right, you guy. I'll take you to ouch. I'll say I can take him down. Can I really? Oh, they're on the surface. I am um, hearing ones up above, aren't I? Okay. Phew. Well, I think that's probably around about the place where... <laughs> ah! The noise. Let's just take him. And... Right. Quiet for a moment. Okay. Oh, not so quiet. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that was my first episode. Thank you very much for watching. Come back and see how Agent Cooper progresses with investigating the mystery of the meteors and the giant worms next time. Bye-bye.